In this tutorial, we'll look at how to link a button to an internal PDF file in HTML. All right, so you can use an anchor tag as well as a button tag. So I'll show you both. We'll start off with the anchor tag. This is probably more common in practice, but you could have a paragraph, let's say, uh, with something like more information. And then um, here you would have the anchor tag, right? So then here would be the um, example uh, report or something like that. And then um, here for the anchor tag, you need to specify the path to the PDF file, right? So this is a, a dummy PDF file. So since it's in the same folder as the HTML file here, I only have to write dummy.pdf. If I save here and refresh, I see more information, example report, and it will open it up right here. Let's say we want to open it up in a new tab, right? You can actually not force it. It could depend on the user settings, but what you can try is say target underscore blank. And let me actually close the sidebar here. So now it's gonna try opening it up in a new tab. So if I refresh now and click here, it will open it up in a new tab. All right, so now let's try doing this with a button element. So instead of an anchor tag, we're gonna have a button. So let's see button. And here I'll just say M example report. So now when we click on the button, let's see what we have. Right, so now we have this. If we click on the button, we want to have the PDF. Right, so now we actually need to use some JavaScript. So you could create a whole JavaScript file and uh, select the button and listen for a click event, or you can do it directly in the HTML with on click. And here you can say um, the location right, of this tab should simply go to the, well, the path of the PDF file. Since it's in the same folder here, we only have to write uh, dummy dot pdf right actually it's the same as the href for the anchor tag right so now we have an, an on click um handler here and let's see if this works so now if i refresh and now if i click here we still see the pdf all right so now if you what if you want to uh, have this open in a new tab there's of course some javascript that we can use which is the following so we can say window.open and then the path dummy.pdf and then um, a second parameter here or argument, which is uh, actually the same as before, which is underscore blank, right? So you're gonna get this, right? So if we do this and save and refresh, now if I click here, it opens it up in a new tab, right? So make sure you get the uh, path right. So if it's sitting in a different path, right? Maybe you have a different folder, uh, PDF files, right? Maybe you have a bunch of PDF files and sitting in this folder, well now, all right, let's say we have an anchor tag again. Now the anchor tag here with the path, it should it should be uh, PDF files forward slash dummy dot PDF. So it's always from the perspective of the HTML file. So the PDF files folder is at the same level. So you can just write PDF files. If you have to go up a folder, you would use dot dot forward slash and you go up one folder. Right. So here, let's see if it still works. It still works. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.